What are you doing? You cannot shut down the computer directly by switching off the power. You first need to shut down the computer. Yes, Anisha is right. We need to start and shut down a computer properly. Otherwise, it may give problems later. To work on a computer, we first need to start it. Let us learn how to start a computer. The process of bringing the computer to a usable state is called starting a computer. This process is also called booting. During booting process, first the BIOS is read. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It includes instructions on how to load basic computer hardware. Next, the operating system is loaded. After that, hardware drivers are loaded, allowing the operating system to interact with the hardware. We should follow these steps carefully for starting the computer. First, switch on the power. Next, switch on the CPU. If the monitor is not turned on, press the power button of the monitor. After a few seconds, the welcome screen of the window will be shown on the monitor like this. The first screen that appears on the working area of a computer monitor after starting the computer is called desktop. Let us now learn how to shut down the computer. Shut down or turning off the computer means switching off the computer safely after the work is done. To completely shut down the computer, Follow these steps carefully. First, click on the start icon at the bottom left corner. Next, click the power icon on the main menu. A menu like this will appear. Now, select shut down by clicking it. You will receive this message. After the computer is shut down, switch off the monitor. Finally, switch off the power supply. The sleep button is used to save power. It turns off most of the components and peripherals which are not necessary for running the computer and wakes them immediately when needed. Restart starts the computer again after turning off. It is also called self-booting. Hibernate saves the desktop state before closing down. Once the computer is turned on, it will show the same desktop which we left before Hibernate. Let us briefly understand the other menu items under the power icon. Let us understand sign out. When many users share one computer, then each user is provided a login name and password. In order to start work, the user has to use his login and password. This is called login and once the work is finished, the user can log off or to sign out. Follow these steps to sign out. Click the start icon. Next, click the user profile icon and click sign out. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning.